Ohio man was found dead in Lake Cumberland Sunday. Police believe he drowned, but the exact cause of death for the 72-year-old man is still unknown. As WKYT's Phil Pendleton explains, rescue crews dealt with difficult conditions. A family from Ohio was enjoying Lake Cumberland Friday night. 72-year-old Daryl Kirby was reaching into the water when he went under. What I was told, he'd climbed up on the back of the boat and he reached back over to get something out of the water, a cooler maybe out of the water, and he just went in face first in the water. The accident happened Friday evening, but Kirby's body was not recovered until around 5.30 Sunday evening. It was in about 30 feet of water where there was not a lot of boat traffic. Pretty much everything else was against us. We had anywhere from short stumps that were catching our gear, um, rocks uh, that were making it difficult for the sonar to catch anything. Um, you had just tight quarters in there. It's just kind of tight in that area. I am told that there were a lot of issues, both above and beneath the water this weekend. Heat exhaustion was an issue for crews, and under the water, visibility was an issue. Visibility is near zero. I mean, you can't see a flashlight in front of your face at that depth. Uh, very murky. Um, Water temperature was okay, but that was about the only thing that was going for us. More than 20 divers from Kentucky and other states helped with the effort. We expect it to start around Memorial Day weekend, and we just be prepared for it. Uh, we usually have boats that are already connected to vehicles, so we don't have to get anything prepared. It's, it's usually sitting underneath the hitch, ready to go and take off. Kirby's exact cause of death is pending autopsy results. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Well, officials say in almost every drowning or suspected drowning, the victims were not wearing life jackets. Well, this marks the third death in the last two months on Lake Cumberland. Last weekend, 39-year-old Jason Bradley of Indiana died. Officials believe he hit his head either as he was jumping into the water or after he went into the water. And back in April, Anthony James Williams died in a boat crash on Lake Cumberland. That boat hit Cemetery Island when it was still dark outside.